Carlos will be turning beneath, specifically at hot air balloon, Byron. No. Nah. No, we're not turning underneath hot air balloons. No, we're not turning under hot air balloons, dummy. Hot air balloons are floating in the atmosphere, which is rotating with the Earth. And I tweeted, the winning field goal in that game was aided by a one-third of an inch deflection to the right from Earth's rotation. The Earth is not rotating Ow. underneath. says, Neil deGrasse Tyson says, Earth will turn underneath hot air balloons and footballs and bullets. Unlike Blue Marble, the one you're disagreeing with there, Virus. Wrong, isn't he? Two reference frames like Neil deGrasse Tyson says, right? Well, what are you going to see you use for Coriolis? What am I going to use? I don't. So you don't use unit? No, I don't. I've just exampled about 55 times how NDT and Blue Marble are detailing the effect of Earth turn, Coriolis deviation, and drift we don't observe according to Blue Marble. It's not my example. Why are you asking me? Yes. Yes, I know for the 55th, for the 55th time you've explained how you don't understand any of their points. We get that. Sorry, I haven't explained how I don't understand any of their points. That's just an ad hominem attack where you claim I don't understand Coriolis or the points made by Neil deGrasse Tyson, who claims a field goal was observed to curve through the goal because Earth turned beneath the field goal. And Blue Marble, who says Earth will not turn beneath a hot air balloon. Even though if you example Coriolis on a roundabout, it will turn beneath both a ball and a balloon. But when we transpose that onto Earth, suddenly we have contrasting positions from NDT and Blue Marble. NDT says Earth does turn under the ball, like on a roundabout with a ball or balloon and a ball. But Blue Marble says no, the balloon moves with the roundabout. No deflection to see. Where are pendulums deviation the strongest? So who, who claim pendulums? I don't remember detailing it's pendulums. I remember detailing Coriolis. Earth turning beneath a ball, according to NDT, and Earth not turning beneath a balloon, according to Blue Marble. Nothing to do with pendulums. Do you understand how I'm attacking your argument? You're not. You just keep telling me yeah. I don't understand Coriolis or their positions, which I've summarised about 50 times. I'm, base, I'm basically getting people to understand that you, you don't understand Coriolis because you can't... Yeah, yeah, we know. You're getting people to think I don't understand Coriolis by saying it over and over again, but not giving any examples or summarising it. And every time you claim I don't understand it, I say Coriolis is a not actual deflection observed from a non-inertial turning reference frame beneath an inertial reference frame to observe not actual deflection in a projectile which potentially travels in a straight line but appears to curve because you turn beneath it. That is Coriolis effect. And every time you try and allude to my audience that I don't understand this stuff by baseless assertion and ad hominem, I'll just detail it concisely. How much do you expect to see deviation on the equator? Out for you, Sorry, how much do we see deviation on the equator? According to Blue Marble Science, we don't. So according to Blue Marble Science, Earth and atmosphere move as one reference frame. So no deviation according to Blue Marble Science. None. Zero. Nada. Certainly not the 15 degrees an hour deviation that Neil deGrasse Tyson claimed to happen under a football. You think all Coriolis is 15 degrees? Right, I don't claim Coriolis, so I don't think it's 15 degrees an hour of anything. Although I could give an example where a roundabout turned at 15 degrees an hour by example, or any degrees an hour. However despite you desperately trying to make this my claim, the globe claims that there's 15 degrees an hour deviation caused by Earth turning beneath things like hot air balloons and footballs. It's called Coriolis effect. You can only observe the effect if you are turning beneath things. So if we've got the effect, as described by Neil deGrasse Tyson with his two reference frames, one turning beneath a football as you observe it seemed to drift, then we'd have the same effect with the hot air balloon. But Blue Marble says we don't and calls me an idiot because I don't understand that they're tracking together do not have the effect Neil deGrasse Tyson says we do have. But you seem to constantly ask me about my claim that we should have this effect. Or that I'm going to claim 15 degrees an hour on a turning earth. None of these are my claims, idiot. Sounds like Blue Marble's actually calling you an idiot too, Virus. Blue Marble called me an idiot because I didn't understand how earth and atmosphere move together as one reference frame. 
He didn't seem to understand Blue Marble, that is. That he's contradicting Blue Marble is contradicting Neil deGrasse Tyson, who claims there's two reference frames to see drift in a football. He says, Nathan, you're an idiot. Obviously, we're not going to see the balloon drift away. The atmosphere's moving with the balloon. Really, Blue Marble? So, the atmosphere's moving with the football, Neil deGrasse Tyson said, drifted in a second reference frame, you complete clown. Big problem, especially when put to a fundy who comes here like in the last two days that we've seen. Because when I position this argument now, it's never going to be my claim about Coriolis that you need to attack and question me on. I'll just detail what Neil deGrasse Tyson says is the claim, Earth turning beneath a football, and what Blue Marble says is the claim, Earth not turning beneath hot air balloons. One reference frame from Blue Marble, two reference frames from Neil deGrasse Tyson, both globe believers, only one will survive this argument, and I'm not going to suffer a single injury while you demolish one of them, virus. Make stupid move because of Coriolis. Or I'm not making that claim. Did you want to make that claim separate to this argument about how Neil deGrasse Tyson and Blue Marble are in contradicting positions to one another? Seems like That's a new not, argument that no, you want to bring up. Claim. No, it's, it's a globe claim. Yeah, globe claims we I've have 15 degrees now. Yeah, I know the globe claims we have 15 degrees an hour deviation in a gyroscope and pendulum because it's claimed Earth turns beneath them. Not in a pendulum, we don't. In a gyroscope, yes, but not a pendulum. Sorry, it's claimed by Foucault himself. <laughs> no, 15 degrees is not. Yo, fuck it! Foucault himself, the namesake of that fucking quasi experiment, is claimed to show 15 degrees an hour as Earth turned beneath a fucking pendulum. That is what is claimed by NDT and simultaneously denied by Blue Marble, who says we've only got one reference frame. So, for cult, shit for brains. We know there are letters to <laughs> Yo, shit for brains. You've just told me, no, Earth isn't claimed to turn underneath a fucking pendulum. Yeah, for cult, claim that, shit for brains. Yeah, do you know they're... Yeah! So you are fucking ignorant of this claim and don't know what the hell you're babbling about when it comes to Coriolis, but you've got the nerve to tell my audience I don't understand it. You've just told me Foucault is wrong. So it's also Foucault wrong, then? Foucault isn't wrong. <laughs> well, you've just told me the Earth didn't turn underneath a pendulum at 15 degrees an hour, as is claimed by Neil deGrasse Tyson and Foucault, but also denied... By Blue Marble Science, who says there's only one reference frame. No drift to see. What are you going to do about that virus? You don't know their letter to base, huh? Crickets. Uh, you, you don't know that, do you? Sorry, the latitude wouldn't make any difference when you're talking about Blue Marble Science, for example. He says there's no drift to see. He didn't say, no drift to see at this particular latitude. He merely asserted Earth is not turning beneath the hot air balloon to have drift at a particular latitude, virus. Do you follow? No drift according to blue marble science. So it doesn't matter what latitude. If you believe blue, there's no drift ever. Earth doesn't turn beneath this stuff, virus, according to blue marble science. Your squirming is funny. My squirming. <laughs> you think I'm squirming? I finally figured a way of positioning a Coriolis argument where I am not culpable for any claim made. But yet I do get to simultaneously highlight that the globe-believing dicks who claim we're on a spinning earth flying through a vacuum have got a contrasting position that makes no sense. One of you fuckwits, that would be Blue Marble Science, says Earth does not turn beneath stuff. Simultaneously, you've got to claim that Earth turns beneath to give you Coriolis drift. Well, that's a massive problem for you, and you think I'm squirming. Nah, project that shit straight onto me, my friend. Au contraire. You don't know when a deviation would appear to go east. Oh, you don't know. You don't know. Ad hom, ad hom. Make it seem like I don't know what Coriolis effect is. So do you? Do you 
what the not actual deflection observed from a non-inertial rotating reference frame in an inertial reference frame as an item traveling straight seems to take a curved path because you're turning beneath it yeah i definitely know what coriolis effect is i definitely know that that requires two reference frame and i definitely know that neil degrasse tyson claims there is two reference frames on a turning earth as earth turned or is claimed to turn beneath a football and when we point out that that would affect a hot air balloon because earth would be turning beneath it it's ampled by a roundabout, release a balloon and throw a ball. You turn beneath both of them when they leave the roundabout. Therefore, you turn beneath both of them on a turning earth. But Blue Marble says no. No to Neil deGrasse Tyson. No to Coriolis Effect, says Blue Marble Science. He says no drift, earth not turning under hot air balloon. Comprende? Yeah, I understand that you don't understand either. Yeah, just keep telling my audience that I don't understand. Either.